Baguio is going electric. Baguio is trying out electric jeeps and we took a ride. We'll tell you about the experience and what Baguio problem might it solve and also how you can try out the free ride yourself today. Kasi ito po ay test run ng ano, uh, EV, o electric vehicle po dito sa Baguio. What's that smell? If you grew up in Baguio, you can tell the difference in breathing the Baguio air when compared to many years ago. Just walking up Session Road on a weekday and take a whiff, and that's the smell of diesel exhaust, not the cool Baguio breeze. Well, that's the cost of a Baguio city that was designed for 30,000 people but now in 2022 is at around 400,000 residents and peaks at a million people during the high tourist seasons. It seems irreversible. But now we have a chance to get that Baguio breeze back with the clean air initiative that is being tested by the city government. Presenting the electric Jeep. It's called the Comet and it's being tested this month to see if it can handle the Baguio commute. Seen as an alternative to gas-burning vehicles, the Comet is fully electric, does not spew any of that toxic exhaust, is silent and smart. But can it handle the Baguio terrain? Baguio's challenging elevation. Many companies have tried and failed. In fact, the earliest tests were done back in 2008. Teachers come approaching. It was tested by the mayor last week and it did pass the climb test at Bukalkan Road with the max number of passengers. In fact, they overloaded it to 34 people from the normal 30. Charging hours. Uh, kapag ano, yung slow charger yung ginamit, 10 hours. Pero kapag yung fast charger, 1.5 hours lang siya. So it looks promising. If it can handle Bukalkan Road, and it should be able to handle any of the steep streets of the city. We caught the Jeep on the road to the Mines View Park. Yes, Mines View, that means it's an uphill climb. It's a smooth ride and quiet. It has about a full load of 30, 18 seating and 12 standing. It's more of a bus than a Jeep. It's got a driver, of course, and a capable of QR coded tickets. We have a conductor that announces the next stop. At a cost of 4.5 million pesos for a vehicle, that's about $80,000, it would be a steep investment for Jeep cooperatives and entrepreneurs. The positive is that the savings come in lesser gas expenses. Of course, many other hurdles like the charging stations need to be available, cost of charging and the phasing out of the older clunky pollution belcher Jeeps. Also, we don't know much about its reliability, cost of maintenance, and other unforeseen problems, but that's why it's being tested. We will report back on testing results if it ever comes. It is a smooth ride and handling the curves and uphills. For now, we are just happy to know that the city, with support from the United Nations Development Program and Department of Tourism Project on Low Carbon Emission Transportation, is trying to solve the problem of pollution and is headed in the right direction. If you would like to try the free bus ride, 
They are scheduled to operate the Mines View route from November 20 to 26. It will switch to the Aurora Hill route from November 27 to December 3. It's free to ride during this trial period. You can board it anywhere on the route, just flag it down, but you have to be lucky since there's only one bus flying the road. Thank you, Pa. You might increase your chances of boarding by waiting for it at the Paradahan. How did our test go? Our personal test ride of the electric bus is a success and we give it 5 stars for the experience. So let us know in the comments below how you rate your experience riding the bus goes if you ever take it. And also your thoughts about the whole idea of cleansing the Baguio air. Thanks for joining us in this ride. The Baguio channel serves the interests of Baguio residents and visitors alike. If you like our content, press the like button, subscribe to our channel, and strike that notification bell.